Did you know that the key to a fulfilling life often lies not in what we have, but in how we choose to understand and interact with the world around us? In our fast-paced society, we often rush to judgments, equate wealth with possessions, and overlook the transformative power of gratitude and forgiveness. But what if I told you that by shifting our perspectives and embracing timeless insights from various traditions, we could unlock deeper connections and true contentment? In this video, we'll explore essential lessons on patience, compassion, and the real meaning of wealth, drawing from the wisdom of Islam, Christianity, and Stoicism. Whether you're seeking personal growth or a more meaningful life, these insights can illuminate your path and inspire you to live with purpose. So let's dive in and discover how to integrate these powerful teachings into our everyday lives. Number one, the pursuit of knowledge. Across traditions, Imagine a world brimming with curiosity, where the thirst for knowledge fuels our daily lives. Think back to those moments in school when you discovered something new, perhaps a fascinating fact about the universe or the story of a historical figure who changed the world. There's a unique joy in that moment, isn't there? This innate desire to learn is not just a fleeting childhood experience, it's a thread that connects us all, regardless of our background or beliefs. Across cultures, the pursuit of knowledge has been a guiding light. In Islam, the pursuit of knowledge is not merely encouraged, it is considered an obligation for every believer. The Prophet Muhammad said, Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave emphasizing that learning is a lifelong journey. This message resonates with many of us. How often do we find ourselves diving into a new hobby, taking a class, or simply getting lost in the pages of a book? It brings a smile to our faces as we remember the joy of discovery. Yet, there's a deeper layer to this pursuit. Christianity echoes similar sentiments, highlighting the importance of wisdom and understanding. The book of Proverbs tells us to get wisdom, get understanding. These words invite us to reflect on our own lives. When did we last seek deeper insights beyond the surface? Perhaps it was in a conversation with a friend, where the exchange of ideas led to a profound understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It's these moments that evoke nostalgia, reminding us of the connections we build through shared learning. Now let's dive deeper. Stoicism adds a unique perspective by urging us not just to read, but to reflect and think critically about what we learn. This resonates with the curious minds among us who seek to challenge the status quo. How often do we find ourselves questioning what we know, eager to peel back layers of understanding? The wisdom shared across these traditions invites us to be lifelong learners, fostering a sense of curiosity that can drive personal and societal growth. It challenges us to go beyond mere accumulation of facts and encourages us to explore the deeper meanings of our experiences. Number two, the value of lifelong learning. As we continue this journey, think about the last time you learned something that truly changed your perspective. Perhaps it was a documentary that opened your eyes to a social issue or a book that shifted your understanding of history. Those moments can fill us with happiness as we revel in the excitement of newfound knowledge. Learning is not just a means to an end, it's a pathway to personal growth, satisfaction and ultimately fulfillment. Lifelong learning is a theme that resonates through the ages. It's a concept embraced by many, regardless of age or background. For the young adults stepping into new careers or the older generations reflecting on their life experiences, the desire to learn never truly fades. This commonality can spark nostalgia as we remember our own educational journeys, those late-night study sessions, the friendships formed over shared assignments, and the collective triumphs celebrated after hard-earned exams. These memories create a warm, relatable feeling that binds us together. 
But why is this pursuit so vital? It's because knowledge is a powerful tool against ignorance, fear and division. Each tradition emphasizes that understanding leads to empathy and wise decision-making. It's a call to arms for us all, whether we're engaging in community service, participating in local politics, or simply striving to understand our neighbors better. The world can be overwhelming at times, and learning provides clarity. So, what does this mean for us today? It invites us to remain curious, to embrace challenges, and to constantly seek new opportunities for growth. We live in an age where information is at our fingertips, yet true learning requires deeper engagement. It challenges us to question the narratives presented to us and to seek out alternative viewpoints. This perspective encourages a spirit of inquiry, urging us to explore new subjects and engage in meaningful discussions that enrich our lives. Number three, compassion and understanding in judgment. Now, let's shift gears and reflect on our relationships with others. Think about a time when you quickly judged someone, perhaps a stranger in a hurry or a friend who made a mistake. Initially, it might have brought a sense of superiority or rightness, but as time passed, those feelings often give way to understanding. This is a common experience that many of us can relate to, regardless of age or background. In Islam, there's a powerful teaching that encourages compassion over judgment. Whoever covers the faults of a Muslim, Allah will cover his faults in this world and the hereafter. This perspective evokes feelings of nostalgia as we think about moments when we chose to overlook someone's shortcomings, fostering forgiveness rather than condemnation. It reminds us of the empathy that can arise when we reflect on our own imperfections. How often have we needed grace from others? This shared human experience invites us to consider the complexity behind each individual's actions Christianity too speaks to this theme. Jesus implores us, judge not, that you be not judged. These words echo in our hearts, nudging us to pause before casting stones. They challenge us to look inward and recognize our own flaws. How often have we found ourselves on the receiving end of judgment, only to realize that we too have made mistakes? This understanding evokes nostalgia for our own moments of vulnerability, reminding us of the value of compassion and understanding. Stoicism offers yet another lens, encouraging us to view others' actions through a broader context. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that people's flaws often stem from ignorance rather than malice. This perspective invites curiosity. How can we transform our judgments into opportunities for understanding? What if, instead of jumping to conclusions, we approached each interaction with empathy? This shift in mindset has the potential to foster deeper connections and enrich our relationships, leading to a more harmonious society. As we navigate our social interactions, let these insights guide us. They remind us of the common threads that bind us all, the shared struggles, the quest for understanding, and the innate desire to connect. Embracing compassion and understanding in our judgments not only enhances our own lives, but contributes to a more empathetic world. Number four, caution against hasty judgments. In a world filled with rapid communication and instant opinions, it's all too easy to jump to conclusions about others. Think back to a time when you formed an opinion about someone based solely on a brief interaction or a fleeting moment. Perhaps you saw someone in a hurry and assumed they were rude, or you overheard a snippet of conversation and drew conclusions without the full context. Initially, such judgments might provide a sense of certainty or control, but they often lead to misunderstandings and missed connections. As we explore the theme of caution against hasty judgments, we find wisdom in the teachings of Islam, Christianity, and Stoicism. In Islamic tradition, there's a profound hadith that states, whoever covers the faults of a Muslim, 
Allah will cover his faults in this world and in the hereafter. This teaching invites us to reflect on our own tendencies to judge rather than support. When we think of our interactions with others, it becomes clear that we often see only a fraction of their stories. This realization stirs a nostalgic sense of empathy, reminding us of times when we were misunderstood or unfairly judged. In Christianity, Jesus famously cautions us against judging others with the directive, judge not, that you be not judged. This concept resonates deeply, encouraging us to examine our motivations before casting judgment. The parable of the speck and the plank vividly illustrates this idea. How can we focus on the minor faults of others when we ourselves have significant flaws? It nudges us to recall moments in our own lives when we were given grace and understanding despite our shortcomings. This relatable experience fosters a sense of connection with others as we acknowledge our shared humanity and the flaws we all possess. Turning to Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius offers insights that prompt us to think critically about the nature of human behavior. He urges us to recognize that people's actions often stem from ignorance rather than malice. This perspective challenges us to view others through a lens of understanding. How often do we forget that everyone is fighting their own battles? Reflecting on our interactions with friends, family, and even strangers can elicit feelings of curiosity. What motivates their behavior? What experiences have shaped them? Number five. The nature of true wealth and contentment. We live in a society that often equates wealth with material possessions. Advertisements bombard us with images of luxury cars, extravagant homes, and the latest gadgets, creating an insatiable desire for more. Yet, as we pause to reflect, we may recall moments of genuine happiness that had little to do with material wealth. Perhaps it was a simple family gathering, a walk in nature, or a heartfelt conversation with a friend. These experiences evoke a sense of contentment that transcends any monetary value. Islam teaches us that true wealth lies in being content with what Allah has given us. The saying, be content with what Allah has given you, and you will be the richest of people, resonates deeply. This idea challenges the pervasive notion that happiness can be bought or attained through external means. It invites us to cultivate gratitude for what we have rather than yearning for what we lack. This perspective can trigger feelings of nostalgia as we remember times when we found joy in simplicity, perhaps during a family picnic or a cozy evening spent with loved ones. Christianity echoes this sentiment in the Apostle Paul's words, I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Paul's journey through trials and triumphs illustrates that contentment is not dependent on external conditions. It's a powerful reminder that we can find satisfaction regardless of our circumstances. Reflecting on our own lives, we may recall instances where we faced challenges, yet still found joy in our relationships, passions and experiences. These memories create a relatable connection highlighting that contentment often arises from within rather than from our possessions. Stoicism offers another perspective, emphasizing the importance of focusing on what lies within our control. The philosopher Epictetus states, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This idea prompts us to consider what truly matters in our lives. When was the last time we paused to appreciate the small joys? A warm cup of coffee on a chilly morning, laughter shared with friends, or the beauty of nature? By shifting our focus from what we lack to what we possess, we can cultivate a sense of fulfillment that transcends material wealth. In our fast-paced world, where the pursuit of more is often glorified, these teachings remind us to slow down and appreciate the richness of our lives. True wealth is not measured by our bank accounts, 
but by our ability to find joy in the present moment and to foster gratitude for our experiences. As we embrace this perspective, we can begin to redefine what it means to be wealthy and content. Number six, finding inner peace. Through gratitude, amidst the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of responsibilities and challenges. Stress, anxiety, and a sense of overwhelm can often cloud our minds. Yet when we intentionally cultivate gratitude, we can find a pathway to inner peace. Think back to a time when you took a moment to appreciate the beauty around you, a stunning sunset, a child's laughter, or a friend's support. Those moments can evoke happiness, creating a space for peace to flourish within us. Islam teaches that gratitude is a vital practice that connects us to our Creator and helps us recognize the blessings in our lives. The Quran states, If you are grateful, I will surely increase your favor upon you. This powerful message invites us to reflect on our lives and identify the many gifts we often overlook. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we can foster a sense of contentment that permeates our daily experiences. As we recall our own moments of gratitude, we may feel a wave of nostalgia wash over us, reminding us of the simple joys we've experienced, like the warmth of a loved one's embrace or the beauty of a shared meal. Christianity echoes the importance of gratitude, with the Apostle Paul urging believers to give thanks in all circumstances. This call to gratitude doesn't mean ignoring our struggles, rather. It encourages us to find light, even in difficult times. Reflecting on our own journeys, we may recall instances where we faced adversity, but discovered valuable lessons or connections through those experiences. These memories serve as powerful reminders of the resilience and strength we possess. From a Stoic perspective, the practice of gratitude aligns with the philosophy of focusing on what we can control. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the significance of appreciating the present moment. The universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it, he wrote. This insight invites us to shift our mindset, recognizing that our thoughts shape our perceptions of reality. When we consciously practice gratitude, we can reframe our experiences, finding joy even in challenging circumstances. As we incorporate gratitude into our daily lives, we create a foundation for inner peace. This practice allows us to pause, reflect, and appreciate the richness of our experiences. It serves as a powerful antidote to negativity and discontent. When we approach life with a grateful heart, we cultivate a sense of harmony that resonates within us and radiates outward, influencing our relationships and interactions with others. Number seven, the power of actions over words. Words hold immense power. They can inspire, uplift and connect us, but they can also hurt, divide and mislead. Think back to a time when someone's actions spoke louder than their words. Perhaps it was a friend who showed up for you during a tough time, or a family member who demonstrated love through their support. These moments evoke feelings of warmth and appreciation, highlighting the importance of actions in our relationships. In Islam, the emphasis on actions is profound. The Prophet Muhammad said, actions are judged by intentions. This statement encourages us to reflect on the motivations behind our actions. It serves as a reminder that while words may convey our thoughts, it is our deeds that ultimately define us. As we consider our own lives, we may recall instances where we've been moved by someone's genuine kindness when a stranger offered help, or a friend simply listened. These experiences resonate deeply, creating a sense of connection as we recognize the value of compassion in our interactions. Christianity reinforces this idea with the message that faith without works is dead. This teaching invites us to consider how our beliefs should manifest in our actions. Reflecting on our own experiences, 
We may remember times when we felt compelled to act in alignment with our values, whether it was volunteering, standing up for justice, or offering support to a friend in need. These memories evoke a sense of pride and fulfillment, reminding us of the impact our actions can have on others. Stoicism adds another layer to this understanding, emphasizing the importance of living in accordance with our values. Epictetus reminds us that it's not what happens to us, but how we respond that matters. This perspective prompts us to consider how our actions reflect our character. When faced with challenges, do we act with integrity and kindness? As we navigate life's complexities, this inquiry can evoke curiosity about how we can become better versions of ourselves. The power of actions over words encourages us to embody the values we espouse. It calls us to reflect on how we can make a positive difference in our communities through our deeds. In a world where words can be manipulated or misunderstood, actions provide clarity and authenticity. As we strive to align our actions with our beliefs, we cultivate deeper connections and foster a sense of trust with those around us. Number 8. The Role of Patience and Perseverance in an age of instant gratification, the virtues of patience and perseverance can often feel undervalued. Think back to a time when you faced a challenge that required determination and resilience. Perhaps it was a long-term goal, a difficult project, or a personal struggle. Initially, the road may have felt daunting, but as you push through, you may have discovered a profound sense of accomplishment. These moments can evoke a mix of emotions, frustration, determination, and ultimately, joy. Islam teaches that patience is a sign of strength and faith. The Quran emphasizes the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. Indeed, with hardship comes ease. This message serves as a powerful reminder that challenges are often temporary and that patience can lead to growth and understanding. Reflecting on our own experiences, we may recall times when we faced obstacles, but emerged stronger and wiser as a result. These memories evoke feelings of nostalgia, reminding us of the resilience we possess within us. Christianity reinforces this idea, encouraging believers to run with perseverance the race marked out for us. The metaphor of a race invites us to consider our life journeys as ongoing processes rather than destinations. When we think of our own lives, we can identify instances where perseverance has led to personal growth, perhaps in our careers, relationships, or personal development. These moments can inspire us to embrace challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. From a Stoic perspective, Patience is intertwined with the understanding that we cannot control external events, only our reactions to them. Marcus Aurelius reminds us to focus on what lies within our control and to approach life with equanimity. This mindset encourages us to cultivate patience in our daily lives, recognizing that each challenge presents an opportunity for growth. Reflecting on our experiences can evoke curiosity how can we better respond to adversity with patience and resilience? Number 9. The Shared Wisdom of Forgiveness Forgiveness is a powerful act that can release us from the burdens of resentment and anger. Think back to a time when you held on to a grudge, only to realize that it was weighing you down. The moment you chose to forgive, whether it was a friend, family member or even yourself, can evoke a sense of liberation. It's a journey that many of us can relate to, transcending age and background. In Islam, forgiveness is deeply valued, and the Quran reminds us that. Those who pardon and overlook are rewarded by Allah. This teaching encourages us to reflect on our relationships and consider how holding on to grudges affects our well-being. When we recall our own experiences, we may remember times when we struggled to forgive, yet ultimately found peace through letting go. 
This nostalgia for personal growth can serve as a reminder of the transformative power of forgiveness. Christianity echoes this theme, emphasizing the importance of forgiving others as we have been forgiven. Jesus' teachings on forgiveness invite us to examine our own hearts and relationships. Reflecting on moments of conflict, we may remember times when forgiveness led to healing and restoration. These experiences create a relatable connection, reminding us that we all navigate the complexities of human relationships. From a Stoic perspective, forgiveness aligns with the understanding that we cannot control others' actions, only our responses. Epictetus encourages us to cultivate a mindset of acceptance and understanding. This approach invites curiosity about how we can practice forgiveness in our lives. What steps can we take to release resentment and embrace compassion? Forgiveness is not just a gift we give to others, it is a gift we give to ourselves. It frees us from the shackles of negativity, allowing us to move forward with our lives. As we embrace the shared wisdom of forgiveness, we open ourselves to deeper connections and a greater sense of peace. This journey invites us to reflect on the beauty of human relationships and the healing power of compassion. Number 10. Integrating insights for a meaningful life. As we conclude this exploration, it's essential to consider how we can integrate the insights gained from these diverse traditions into our daily lives. Think back to a time when you felt a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment, perhaps after completing a meaningful project, helping a friend in need, or engaging in a passion that ignited your spirit. Those moments evoke happiness and serve as a reminder of what truly matters in our lives, Integrating these insights begins with the pursuit of knowledge. As we embrace the teachings of Islam, Christianity and Stoicism, we recognize that knowledge is a lifelong journey. Each experience we encounter contributes to our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Reflecting on our own educational journeys, we may recall instances where curiosity led us to new insights and connections. This nostalgia can inspire us to remain lifelong learners, fostering a sense of wonder and growth. The value of lifelong learning encourages us to seek out new experiences, engage in meaningful conversations, and remain open to different perspectives. By embracing this mindset, we cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment in our lives. Finding inner peace through gratitude is another crucial aspect of creating a meaningful life. When we intentionally cultivate gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. This practice allows us to appreciate the richness of our experiences and fosters a sense of contentment that transcends material wealth. Reflecting on moments of gratitude can evoke feelings of warmth and connection, reminding us of the beauty that surrounds us. As we navigate our relationships, the power of actions over words serves as a guiding principle. By embodying our values through meaningful actions, we create deeper connections with others. Reflecting on our interactions, we may recall instances where our actions made a positive impact on someone's life. These memories inspire us to continue serving others with kindness and compassion. Patience and perseverance play essential roles in our journey toward a meaningful life. When faced with challenges, it's crucial to remember that growth often requires time and effort. Reflecting on our own struggles can evoke curiosity about how we can develop resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The shared wisdom of forgiveness is another integral component of a meaningful life. By embracing forgiveness, we release ourselves from the burdens of resentment and anger, allowing for healing and growth. Reflecting on our experiences with forgiveness can inspire us to cultivate compassion and understanding in our relationships. Ultimately, integrating these insights requires a commitment to self-reflection and growth. It invites us to consider how we can apply these teachings in our daily lives, whether through acts of kindness moments of gratitude, or the pursuit of knowledge. 
By weaving these principles into the fabric of our lives, we can create a tapestry of meaning that enriches our experiences and connections.